All right, I want to go over just a few things about my car and about the rules at Lucas Oil Speedway. Uh, a lot of out-of-towners come for our big fall race at the end of the year. Uh, we're trying real hard to make that into quite, quite a big deal. Uh, first thing is tires. We run 10-inch asphalt takeoffs. We, they have to durometer a minimum of 55. Uh, they also allow other tires, G60s, the Hoosiers, they're all legal on 8-inch tires. I believe the tires and the wheels must match. Uh, the uh, only real deal is they got a durometer 55 and that's tough for some of the Hoosiers. Uh, we can run homemade bodies but they must resemble a stock appearing car. So no late model looking. That's the biggest thing they hate at Lucas. No late model cars. They've got to look like a stock car. Uh, my bodies are built by Josh Franklin at Josh Franklin Motorsports. We can run fiberglass hoods. I know that Lucas calls them factory stocks. They should probably be called super stocks or street stocks. Uh, a lot of places such as Oklahoma call them Grand Nationals. Uh, what we can run is our motors are production based uh, small blocks of any, any type. I think it can be big blocks. I'm not sure about that but nobody runs them. As long as the motor is cast iron, stock appearing, stock dimensions, stock attempt, it's legal. We have no cubic inch rule, we have no compression rule, we have no camshaft rule, but it's got to be cast iron and no 14 degree or weird offsets on your head. It's got to be production style. Uh, we can run any kind of header that we want. We cannot run Burt's or brand transmissions or Falcons. We can, it's, if we can run any stock transmission, we can run a power glide without a coupler. I run a three speed with a mini clutch. It's just, I know it, I'm giving them some horsepower, but I've got plenty and I just find that they're more reliable. Uh, we can run aluminum doors at Lucas. Our minimum weight is 3,100 pounds. Uh, so that they don't really fight what the material is your car is made out of. They like to have stock roofs, stock B and C pillars. They really like that to be stock. The problem we're having here in the Midwest is they've crushed them all. Now you can buy fiberglass from a guy here locally. They're like 150 bucks. Josh Franklin Motorsports can get you hooked up on that as well. Mine is still the stock steel one, so I, they like that. Uh, we're allowed a little bit of room to fudge to make us have some cool looking A-pillars. Um, uh, my car has uh, the entire cockpit style on the inside. Uh, there's nothing different than anybody else's car out there. We can run floaters. 99% of us do have floaters. Uh, they're a good idea for the rear end for safety reasons and they just last well. Uh, uh, while we're on this side we can talk about some of my sponsors. Of course I do excavating for a living is what I do. It's what's allowed me to do what I love here. Whitetail.net with my best friends Craig Ganhuser. He races the 117 car and he'll be out this year as well. Uh, Protect the Harvest is a very, very good Lucas Oil company. Uh, we have to, that's in our packages for stickers. It's got to be on our cars for our points at the end of the year. Uh, Bledsoe Automotive does my tires. And of course, Ozark Speed Marine it keeps my motors pumping. Last year, we actually burned up a piston on a Saturday night and I was ready to race next Saturday night. One week, everything new. And so that's a pretty good turnaround. Uh, Nitro Cult is kind of a clothing line that Josh Franklin's kind of offshoot of Josh Franklin. It uh, actually has turned into more of a driver's club. You know, if you're a Nitro Cult driver, we are a little more about sharing information back and forth and what have you. It's turned into that as much as more than anything else. Uh, Keith Denny Concrete is a new uh, sponsor to come on with us this year. Chris Bork Photos is what makes us look good on Facebook all the time. Alibo Arms is actually my mom and dad's uh, gun shop and they of course do all they can to help us out. Uh, back here on the bat, back. Whoop. Big Planet Media, Sean Cober. He's who does all of our media work, video and uh, vi all that kind of stuff. That's Sean's neighborhood. Uh, we can run spoilers at Lucas Oil Speedway. We do have a deck height rule. It's 43 inches. Uh, we don't have to run stock bumpers. I just prefer them. Uh, this was this uh, Platinum Edition. This was kind of one of the first cars that that uh, Josh was working on when things really got to rolling. Uh, he was actually was on his jig for probably two years while he still had his other jobs and what have you. 
but it's uh, there's only three or four of them that my car is a bit odd that it has these these front hoops. I put them on there is Josh's idea. I wanted my car to be really really tough, and I've been in two or three pretty good incidents, and I've never had to put a stub on my car. Our front ends have got to maintain stock geometry, stock control arms on the bottom. We can run non-adjustable tubulars on the top. Uh, the main thing that they're very particular about at Lucas Oil Speedway is the suspension mounting points have got to be where they were born from Chevrolet. You cannot alter that. Rear control arms have got to be stock. No Himes, they've got to be rubber bushings. And yes, we all do that pulling wheelies. You don't got to have a panhard bar or none of that stuff. They'll do that stock. Uh, we do run gas. You cannot run alcohol. Uh, other than that, that's the uh, basic rules that they really care the most about at Lucas Oil Speedway. So, uh, hope you guys can come.